Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel, this is my basic journey. If you're new here, I live and travel in my minivan that I built into a single person camper with my dog Joey, and we are currently in Sedona, Arizona. This is the most beautiful place that I think I've ever been in my life, and the camping that I'm in right now is off of the 525. It's the most popular free camping area in Sedona. It's pretty close to town, maybe 15 minutes out. It's not too bad, but it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to come back here. But I'm leaving this campsite today to go do some more Sedona exploring. We're going to go to the Red Rock State Park, explore there a little bit. And then there's actually a campground really close to there called Camp Avalon. And we did get a site for there tonight. However, they are under construction right now. So they don't have showers or like regular bathrooms. They do have pit toilets, but no running water right now. That's fine. We don't need any of that. We just want to check it out because it's right on a creek. It's supposed to be very beautiful. I'm just super excited. So I'm going to bring you guys with me and I hope you have fun. If you're new here, please subscribe. All right, let's go check out Sedona. Continue on Red Rock Loop Road for three miles. Take the next right. Continue for half a mile. Well, you guys, as you can see by rule number two, pets are prohibited in this park. And when I looked online, it said that they were allowed. So I guess we're not gonna go in this park today. That's okay, it said recreation area up ahead. So we're just gonna turn around and see what's up there because <laughs> obviously we're not gonna go here Joey can't go that's fine just in case you do want to come here it is only seven dollars but this guy you're not allowed in Joe they decided that you were not welcome so who can resist that Joey all right, you guys, so uh, yeah, pets are not allowed there, but she did give me directions to the recreation area that I was talking about, and it's really close to here, so we're just gonna go there, and hopefully they have some cool views and maybe a little hike we can do before we have to go to our campsite, because um, we still have like four hours. <laughs> you know, I kind of figured we would spend that time here, make lunch, and then go to camp, but we'll do that at this other place, just not this one. All right, so this park is actually $11 to go in, just in case anybody wanted to know. Hopefully it is beautiful and worth $11. 
All right, so we are at the Crescent Moon Ranch and it looks like they have a bunch of hiking you can do. There's creek access, some beautiful views as far as I can see so far. And uh, there's like a little informational booth back here by the bathroom. So we're gonna go check that out first and see if there's like a map or something. But I'm super excited, it looks really pretty. And even though it's not like where I exactly wanted to go, it's still beautiful and I'm still excited. And uh, that's just kind of how it is when you live on the road. Everything is spontaneous. Even if you try to make plans or make a routine, something will throw it off. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm excited though because it looks really pretty. Let's go check it out. Come on, Joe. Come this way, silly goose. So I have absolutely no service here whatsoever. I have the circle with the line in it. So I'm not gonna be getting any work done while I'm here. It means I get to just enjoy my time, not worry about work. It's beautiful. Nice jump, Joe.
Oh, he loves it. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not like head to toe in mud right now. Yeah, go ahead. His name's Joey. <laughs> he loves the loves. <laughs> Have a good one. So I made it to Camp Avalon, and um, I'm eating lunch right now. Joey's eating lunch right now. Um, and then we'll probably just go walk around the camp, and it's so pretty here. I love this. And it's $30 a night, and uh, I think I told you guys already, but they're doing renovations on their bathroom, so it's just porta potties but I'm okay with that. <laughs> it is so pretty. There's a little trail that says it goes down to the creek, it's only about an eighth of a mile so we'll probably go do that and then uh, just walk around and the campground itself is very beautiful so Camp Avalon is actually a spiritual retreat they have a bunch of like group meditation group yoga things like that that happen every single day I'm not sure if I'll be participating honestly I just wanted a campsite for the night but I definitely want to walk around and check it out but after I eat my taquitos <laughs> Does it look like I just slept for two hours? Because I just slept for two hours. <laughs> and I woke up and it was really warm. And so now we're just gonna take that little walk down to the creek that they told me about, cool off a little bit. All right, you guys, today has been quite the adventure and I am pretty tired, so I'm gonna go to bed, but I hope you had fun coming and hanging out with me in Sedona today. But I have really loved Sedona and I know that I'm gonna come back here <laughs> and next year when I come back that I'm going to give myself longer than like four days to be here because it just went by way too fast. I did not get to see everything or do everything that I wanted to do. So I definitely have to come back here because it is absolutely gorgeous. Even though we didn't get to go to the state park like we wanted to. Going to the other place, the Crescent Moon, was even more, I don't know, up my alley, I would say. Like, it was a few dollars more to go to this park, but the beach that we went to with all, like, the rocky, cliffy looking things, that was called Buddha Beach, which is just, like, right up my alley. I don't know. And it was just very cute. And then we came to Camp Avalon, and it was very beautiful here. It was very peaceful. I ended up napping, <laughs> and it was just a really, really nice time. And the hosts here are so nice and I believe and it might be like a pandemic thing where they're not having all their normal stuff happening um, and there is a little bit of construction for new bathrooms happening right now but normally they do have more of like an itinerary of things you can do while you're here however I think because of the pandemic they are not doing a lot of the stuff but just keep that in mind this was a really awesome campground it was 30 bucks to stay here I just uh, I love Sedona and like you saw in the beginning of this video there are free places to camp and I'll put all of the information for all these places below in case you want to check them out but I really hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet please do so below I'll also put a link to my patreon in the description box in case you want to check that out otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video bye